Hey, this is Josh from joshbells.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a compressed air gun. It's a fairly easy to refill air gun as you can just attach it to a bike pump and pump it up. To load it all you do is place the projectile in the front and as you can see when you decide to shoot it, it really packs a punch. To start off this build, you'll need this compressed air can from my previous build. And as you can see, when you pull down the trigger, it can inflate a balloon. Now just as a recap, in case you haven't seen my previous build, I start off with a bike can or two. I also obtain an aerosol can and drill a hole in it. I then go ahead and place the valve from the bike inner tube in the back of the aerosol can. This just gives us a way so we can easily refill our can. After that, I take off the front. And all that's left is to create a contraption to easily release the air from the front whenever we need it. If you decide to build this uh, compressed air gun, I highly recommend you actually go see the original video so you can see exactly how this air can was done. Once the air can is made and fully functional, now we have to find a way to attach it to the barrel of the gun. To do this, I'll use a little bit of tube and attach it to the straw. But as you can see, the straw is a little too loose, so I'm going to wrap some tape around it so it makes a tight fit. Now the straw fits in perfectly. Next I'm going to do a roll of paper around the straw. This is just going to be to make a nice barrel that looks nice to the eye. Once I finish that off, it fits nice. Now I'm going to make another one, slightly larger, that will overlap this one a bit. Once I cut both to size and position them well, I can then go ahead and glue them into place. After this we'll need a few more rolls of paper to make the handle. After I make the handle, I'm just going to make something to help support the barrel of the gun. Once that's finished, I'm just going to wrap both of them in paper to make it look a little nicer. Now after that's finished, we're going to make something to hold our bullets. Because the bullets fit in the straw in the front of the gun, these straws that I place on the side will also hold the bullets perfectly. Now let's get to making the bullets. To make the bullets, I'm going to cut out a thin strip of paper, and I'm going to roll it up until it's about the size of the straw in the barrel. Then I'm going to cover it in tape so it slides easily. And then I'll test out the size to see if it's the size of the barrel. If not, add some more tape to make it bigger or take some tape off to make it smaller. But as you can see, mine fits perfectly. Now I'm going to cut a piece of clothes hanger here. enough for each bullet that I want to make. I'm going to place some glue on it and insert it in the middle of our roll of paper. Now these bullets can be loaded into our straw holders for later use. 
and now it's time to test it all out. I'll pump up the gun to build some air pressure. I find around 70 psi is safe. And then I'll mount the bullets in the front of the gun and push them all the way to the back with anything you have laying around. Then you can go ahead and fire it and see how it works. And as you can see it has lots of air left for many more shots. So after this I'm going to see if I can make one that's automatic so we can shoot lots more. Thanks for watching to the end of my video. Feel free to like and subscribe and check out ways to support me to help me make more cool and better videos like this one. To see my other projects and buy parts you might need, you can check out my channel or my website joshbuilds.com. You can also follow me on my social networks to keep updated with my new content. Thanks.